Epic, ridiculous, and downright bizarre, those are the comments you'll most likely find under YouTube clips from dashboard mounted cameras in Russia. They've been catching everything from driving offenses to meteors and could now serve as top content for hours of comedy. Lindsay Franz takes a look at what's become the online hallmark of today's Russia. If it wasn't for this, we would never have seen this. The 11,000-ton meteor that impacted Chelyabinsk in February. The video was breathtaking. The world asked, when did Russia become the authority on the so-called dash camp? George Svechnikov says we have Russian roads to thank. They're so bad that proving he isn't negligent in a crash can be tough without one. Two weeks ago, I was in a traffic accident. It wasn't my fault. It was just the problem with the road. And uh, the record from my dash cam was the only proof uh, which allows me to say that it's not my fault. It's not just the roads. It's also scams like this one. People throwing themselves at cars to collect injury money. It's a known fact that while driving down the road in Russia, you never know what might sail past you. It could be a boat, a tank, a fighter jet, or even a passenger plane crashing into a highway. It's never dull. And it's very often hilarious, mostly because it's happening to someone else. I don't like these videos, really. Really? I don't like it. Why? The only video with a meteorite in uh, meteorite, Siberia. Yeah. yeah, when the guy said, oh, OK. Yeah. People love Russian nonchalance when faced with calamity. All seriousness aside, just think of all of the comedy missing from the internet if Russian dash cams were made illegal. Because what makes it so uniquely Russian isn't just what's happening on this side of the dashboard, but the reaction inside the car. Let's roll the meteor footage again with the sound up. I'm going to learn the Russian word for holy balls. <laughs> In fact, the Russian reaction seemed so laid back, it spawned parodies on Russian television. According to automotive journalist Alexander Pikulenko, these little cameras are now a part of the culture. Judging by the survey that we conducted, of the 40 million drivers in this country, every ninth one has a video recorder. According to legal expert Ruslan Konorev, if any lawmaker wants to pass legislation preventing provocative video from being posted online, whether for privacy or decency, he is going to have a tough hill to climb legally. With dash cameras, the issue of privacy is irrelevant because they document events in public areas. So if you find a dash cam video of yourself being laughed at on the news after an epic evening out, you may just have to turn the other cheek because at this point, you're collateral damage. In Moscow, Lindsay France, RT.